Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and over here I do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Uh, you may remember a video or two back I did a, a video on using the Daz install manager to get our information, our, our assets installed and, and downloaded onto our system. Uh, well in response to a, a question that I've had I just thought I'd do this very quick follow up uh, video just to show how you can change the install directory of where the stuff within the, the DAS install manager gets installed to but also how to inform DAS of where to look for the new installed stuff and so what it is that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up the DAS install manager and then log into it as you normally would just like what I've got here and then once here you're going to have to come all the way up to the top right here to this little cog just above where my cursor is. Uh, give it a click and then on the menu that opens up, click on advanced settings. And what you'll do is you'll get this little window crop up as you can see here. Then all you need to do is come across to this installation tab so that you end up exactly where I am here. And what you'll see down here is your current DAS install manager installation path. Uh, so this is where all the stuff that you uh, download and install from the DAS install manager will get installed to this what you've got here now yours will look different to mine because i've done a, a custom path you know previously yours will be something like my DAS 3d library etc you know whatever something very similar to that but whatever it'll be that's where the stuff will get installed to uh, and then what you need to be able to do is either add a new folder a, a new directory into there or to edit the current one that you've got now to edit the current one that you've got, what you need to do is come up to the the uh, the directory structure itself, the path itself, and right click, and then you'll see edit shortcut there and, and whatever your shortcut is called. Uh, and what you do is you give that a click, and then this little window would come up, and then you just use this little browse tool to come in here and then navigate over to where your you want your new installation path to be. So Mine will be up here into my DAS tutorial folder, which you might have seen me use previously. And then I'll just get select folder. It'll fill in the details down there. Now, that's still changed up there. I could change that to DAS tutorial if I wished, or whatever name you want it to be, uh, if I can spell it right. Uh, and then what you do is you hit accept. It's thrown up this little warning for me because I've got... Uh, you know, already stuff in that directory that hasn't been installed by the DAS installer. Uh, it's asking me for twice, doesn't, don't worry about it. Uh, and therefore what I've done now is I've changed that directory, uh, that installation directory to now install stuff into my DAS tutorial folder. And all that's left to do with that now would be to hit accept and that would be uh, all set within the DAS install manager. Alternatively, what we can do is we can come across to this little plus button that we see down here, give it a click, you'll get this same window crop up, and again come to the little three dotted browse and just do exactly the same thing if you wanted to add one in uh, into your, the DAS install manager. I'm not going to do that because uh, I've done that already and I've got my folder set up. Uh, if incidentally you want to remove one of these, you just give it a right click and you can just come down to remove the shortcut and it'll just delete it out of there for you completely. Once you're all set and once you're all done, you hit the accept button down here and then there's just one thing that you need to do in DAS itself to make sure that DAS is looking in the right place for your stuff. Now back here in DAS, as you can see, I'm on my, my content library and I've got DAS studio formats highlighted up here. If I give it a double click, and expand it out you can see this is the directory that i originally had set up in my das install manager uh to for the for, the, for my installs you again will be different to mine yours will be my das 3d library you know what whatever the default turns out to be uh but what we need to do is we need to tell das to look into our das tutorial or my das tutorial for, uh, folder that i set up in the das install manager and um, the way that we do that is we come up to the edit menu up the top so we click on the edit menu we come down to preferences or we can press f2 to go directly straight to it click on preferences and this window then crops up what we need to do is come across to this content tab give that a click and then down at the bottom you'll see this content directory manager and what we need to do is give that a click and this window 
will open up now you can see there the DAS studio format directory which is the same as this one up here and if we were to expand that out by double clicking it or hitting the little plus uh, symbol next to it you will see the actual uh, directory path of the, the the folder that we've got up there and what we set what was originally set in the DAS install manager what we need to do to tell it to, to look at the tutorial folder is with with the DAS studio formats uh, item selected there as is indicated by the dotted box is we need to come across to this directory just here we need to click on add and once again it'll open up our file directory structure and then just navigate to where your uh, new installation directory is that you set up in dim in the DAS install manager there's my DAS tutorial give that a click and select folder and as you can see it's now added it in right there and all i have to do is then just click accept click uh oh it'll take a little moment click accept again and you will see that now we have added updated and it's now included the das tutorial folder in there and if we expand it out you can see i've got a little uh folder with all the stuff that is in that directory and that is it just them two little things add the directory into the DAS install manager as we showed you previously and then just tell DAS where to look uh, by just doing those little steps that we've just gone through there and that is all that you need to do so hopefully you've got something out of this video uh, if so give the the video a, a thumbs up down below that tells youtube that i'm a better youtuber than what i actually am uh, secondly if you haven't already please consider subscribing uh, by clicking the little button down below and the little notification bell so that you don't miss any other future videos finally if you've got any further questions or comments about this video or about daz in general then just drop them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.